Hi, I'm Jeff King. I just wanted to do a really quick overview of Q sharding. Um, and this is really to enable you to go beyond what your Q service provider uh, might have available to you in terms of throughput. Uh, so on Microsoft Azure, we have two types of queues. Um, we have storage queues, and secondly, we have uh, service bus queues. Now, they offer about 2,000 messages per second of throughput, which is a lot of throughput. Um, we see people, though, having uh, worries that they're going to hit this or they might go beyond this. Um, and so one real easy way um, to ensure that your application can scale beyond limitations like this is to add a level of sharding. So the first thing is your typical um, message producer will add to your queue and then you'll have um, consumers working off that queue that might be storing that database or working with that data, right? Um, so this is your, your regular uh, producer-consumer pattern. Um, you might have multiple consumers and you might have mul multiple producers, um, but very simple pattern. So secondly, what you can do is just stand up additional queues um, and you can have just even a round robin way of adding to the queues from your producers. Um, and by doing this, uh, they might be putting singular messages in separate queues. And then you can have specific consumers then working off of those queues. And so you can have as many as you want here. Um, and the only thing that the producer needs to know is potentially to um, add a message uh, to the number of queues that you have. Um, it's a really simple pattern, code-wise. Uh, this code could be all the same. You just attach specific consumers to specific queues. Um, so you have a variety of queues. And then the only change in your code would be at the producer level that needs to send those messages to multiple queues. I hope this was helpful. Uh, please leave comments uh, in the pane below or please contact me. Thank you very much. Have a good day.